Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So my client here came in for a total haircut transformation. So first things first, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video and then let's get straight into what we did. So I started off by giving her what we call a preliminary cut. Now this is not the actual haircut. This is just to get the hair in somewhat of a um, shorter length in preparation for the actual um, style or relaxer. Now I did do a relaxer on her because she had no plan of staying natural. Um, she wanted, like I said, a total transformation. And with that being said, a relaxer is required. <laughs> um, we're doing a rendition of a pixie cut. Um, you can also call it a micro pixie um, because her hair is going to be a lot shorter than where it is now. That is mainly the reason why I did cut off some of the hair at the beginning because really and truly most of this hair is going to be cut off anyway. But as a stylist, you also need to know where you're going before you do a preliminary cut. So when I do my preliminary cuts, I'm doing it based on me knowing exactly what length I'm going to take her down to and not just a random, oh, just cut, 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 uh, cut. And it's cutting with a strategy. So with the relaxer application, um, of course, the sides in the back are always done first because that area really needs to be the straightest. And then for her crown area, um, that is the area that I do last, mainly because you do still want some type of density sometimes. Some stylists like to make the hair bone straight and, you know, give their client a flat head all over. For me, I like to preserve some density in the crown only because I know that that is where the highlight of everything is. So for her crown area, um, I didn't do a preliminary cut. I did keep the length because I wanted to give my client the ability um, to make a informed decision of if they wanted the top short or long. Um, for now, we're doing just some comb or scissors over comb just to cut down some more hair. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and complete the haircut. Now, if you guys know me when it comes on to my haircuts, my haircuts can be done um, dry or wet. In some instances, I do it wet. Some instances, I do it dry. In her case, I did do about 97% of the cut. I know that was an odd number. 97% <laughs> of the cut while the hair was wet um, because I could see exactly where I was going. And then um, the rest of the cut, meaning like cleaning it up, detailing, that kind of thing, I do when the hair is dry. Now, for a hair type or texture such as hers, in regards to maintenance, um, she would be using our hair repair and growth shampoo and conditioner. Um, she'd also be using, or actually she has most of my products already, if I'm not mistaken, um, but she'd also be using our goddess serum. And then she would definitely be using our maintenance line, which the maintenance line is available on the site in the next coming week or so. Um, so if you're watching this video on the first part of the upload, meaning it just got uploaded, then of course it is not available yet, but this will be available after November 16th, 2019. So a lot of our products now are available in um, what we call systems or kits because we want to make sure that you have everything you need, whether it be for strengthening, whether it be for repair moisture, maintenance, curl definition. So all of these different systems will be available coming very soon. And then in regards to her, because she does have short hair, guys, keep this in mind. Her care or regimen is going to be a little bit different from others. So for her, a regimen would be she can shampoo and, you know, curl or mold it every week, whereas short hair, sometimes that is required. Um, if you perspire a lot, that is definitely required. Like for myself, I do perspire a lot. So I wash my hair once a week. Whereas if it was longer hair, you really couldn't do that as much. And then on top of that, her sides and her back would be relaxed a lot more or more often than the crown area. So for me, I'm on about a two week basis in regards to relaxing my sides and my back. And I know you're like, man, that's excessive. Well, for short styles, it's not really excessive because once that hair begins to grow out, it won't lay. It won't lay down and you mold it. It just bubbles up because it's so short and short hair grows extremely quickly. So we do relax the sides and the back a lot more than we do our crown area um, because you want the crown to have that density and that fullness. So a rule of thumb for me is any hair that is over 
um, a half an inch to an inch long, that hair gets relaxed on a typical relaxer schedule, which is six to eight weeks. And then the sides in the back is about every two to three weeks. So that would be considered like a partial relaxer. So we're gonna go ahead and mold her using our Brunner Brothers wrap foam. I do not have a wrap foam um, to this moment, which I probably need to really start working on a wrap foam because I have short hair, but <laughs> I really do like the Bronner Brothers professional wrap foam. It's I've been using it for years, so I love it. Um, and then of course, we're going to mold her in the direction of her style. So for those of you who are molding your hair at home, always make sure that you are molding it in the direction of the style that you're going to be going with, or at least as close to it as possible. Now, if you notice, I am combing that hair on the sides towards her face because she does have a little bit of sparseness on the hairline. And then we are using our hair wrap strips to hold the hair in place so that her mold will dry and will be ready for style. So now her hair is fully dried. Um, and at this point, we're going to use a little bit of our Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. That is also a part of our maintenance and care system. And then, of course, her haircut is not complete. So this is where we do all of our detailing, um, our edging, you know, cleaning up our hairline, that kind of thing. Um, some people don't want to cut any more than this, which that is absolutely fine. Um, I did want to take some of the weight out of the nape area right there where the crease is in everyone's neckline because that hair, all it's going to do is flip up. So I wouldn't leave that hair there. And I just literally did that with clippers over comb just to kind of, you know, thin it down slightly and then edge her hairline off. I didn't go through and uh, take too much more hair off. I was merely just doing a little bit of detailing. Now, some people like the nape area faded out. For her, I didn't fade it out because I looked at it and the shape of her head, the, the style of her hair, um, you know, what we're going for. I was like, okay, that area can actually be left with a little bit more hair than normal. And then, of course, guys, remember, with short hair, you can, it gets changed so many times. So this, while it is a haircut, this will, this haircut will grow out within a matter of weeks. And then she can either choose to cut it down. She can choose to grow it out. You know, there's so many different alternatives with a short style. Um, that's merely the reason why I kept my hair short because I just love my versatility. I love that I can be edgy one day. I can be subtle the next, that kind of thing. So what I'm using now is my half inch flat iron just to go through and, you know, bump her hair. She does have fine textured hair. So really and truly, I'm just giving her more like a bump. So this kind of mimics uh, micro pixie slightly. Um, I don't want to call it a um, full micro pixie because most micro pixies, the sides in the back are a little bit shorter. This can also be called a regular pixie cut as well. So in the sides and the back of her head I gave her a slight bump and then in the crown I'm gonna do it just a slightly tighter um, bump or curl and then of course we'll comb it out so I'm gonna leave you guys to just watch the style and this is a really simplistic thing because she is she doesn't really know a lot about hair care and you know taking care of her hair as much so I wanted to give her something that was very minimal very simple very easy to manage without her having to really worry about doing too much at home um, that was really the goal because you have to really go with your client's lifestyle while I want to give her you know all these spikes and all this good stuff that is not her character number one she's very subtle very sweet um, and number two, she's not used to this yet. So I don't want to give her something where she's going to feel kind of like hopeless because she doesn't know um, how to do this on her own. So that was another reason why I just um, made it even more simple for her. So you guys can finish out watching the style. And of course, please comment down below if you are soon to go with a cut transformation um, and what it is that you want it to change. Oh, and by the way, we did color her hair. Just to be clear, she did get a color, a semi-permanent color. And with that semi-permanent color, of course, we covered her grays, her silver streaks. 
And one thing I can tell you when it comes to darker colors, darker colors do give the hair this appearance of a lot healthier, a lot fuller. Um, it fills in the gaps and it also fills in the actual cuticle and it works as somewhat of, of a filler. So it just makes the hair feel even better sometimes. So of course, don't be afraid of color. Don't be afraid to try it out. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm going to leave you guys to watch the finished product. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.